Hello all. So if you have a Honda with the P2185 code, I thought I'd give a basic overview of the causes of this and how you go about fixing it. But so what is a Honda P2185 code? Well, it's engine coolant temperature sensor to circuit high voltage. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's engine coolant temperature sensors that's just reporting back the temperature of the engine to the computer and to the dashboard where you see the temperature gauge. And the computer's seeing a problem with this, mainly with the sensor too. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And these sensors are just thermistors, which basically change resistance as they heat up. So if you need to test one, you can use a multimeter and you can test the leads. And as the temperature changes, the resistance should change too. And so what are some possible causes? Well, the first thing to go and do is to check your coolant level. Be sure it's good. Very likely it will be, but if the engine's overheating or anything like this, it may not. So it's a good idea to go check the coolant level and be sure that it's good. So the next thing that could cause this is that that engine coolant temperature sensor 2 has just failed. It just needs to be replaced. It's going to vary. It's going to depend on the Honda, the year, the make, things like this, on where the sensors are located. So it's going to be a good idea to go get a diagram for your specific Honda to know for sure where those sensors are located. For example, here's a 2006 Honda Accord, and sensor 1 is going to be located up on top of the engine block, and the coolant sensor 2 is going to be located down on the radiator. So the first thing to do is to get a diagram and locate that engine coolant temperature sensor 2 on your specific Honda. Like I said, you can't test that sensor if you want to. You can read resistance when the engine's cold and then warm it up and then start the engine, let it warm up, take measurements again and see what they are, see if it's changed. But the first thing I would do is I'd either test or replace that engine coolant temperature sensor number two. And then if that doesn't solve the problem, the next thing to start getting into is gonna be the wiring. Basically keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So if you do test that sensor and it's good or you replace it and you know it's good, then at that point, the next thing to do is to check the wiring and be sure that it's good. If you do all that and all that checks out good, then it is possible that you got a bad thermostat where it's either stuck closed or it's stuck open. But if that happens, very likely the engine would be overheating. Or if it's stuck open, the engine would never be heating up correctly. Usually those thermostats get stuck closed and the engine's just constantly overheating. The same thing with air in the coolant system. That can also cause issues. If air bubbles are inside the coolant system, they don't transfer heat as well as the coolant will. And it can cause issues, again, mainly with overheating. So if you do have overheating issues, then that would be something else that could cause this. And it would be the next thing to look at. But the most common fix for this is going to be that either the engine coolant temperature sensor number two is failed and gone bad, or there's some kind of issue inside the wiring and that needs to be fixed. And so that's basically it. If you run into this problem and you've had this code and you solved it and it's something that's not on this list or some kind of other issue, let us know down in the comments below. If this video helps you, please click like. But that's basically it.